What's going on guys? You're watching Nerd Type, the channel where we talk about all the content that nerds like you and me love. And today we're talking about Pokemon cards. As you can see behind me, we're going to be opening up some Shining Fates. Not that Crobat box yet though, but we will be opening up our first Shining Fates Elite Trainer box. I actually have several of these. These are just two of the ones I have. I think I have two or three more in my cabinet behind me. We're only gonna open up one today, and we're also gonna open up two Shiny Star V Japanese packs. These are like the equivalent to Shining Fates, except there's some different cards in this set, <clears throat> and these packs are stacked. Most Japanese packs come with five cards. These ones come with 10, and there's usually like four hollows may it be reverse hollows regular hollows or full art hollows so we're gonna see what we can get out of two packs i wish i had the money to buy a shiny star v booster box but they're like 130 bucks and only come with 10 packs so i feel like if i'm gonna spend 130 bucks i'm just gonna buy a booster box like i did with chilling rain and like vivid voltage that i have coming so keep an eye out for some videos for those soon but until then, let's get into the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. Alright, so the big card with this set is obviously the Shiny Charizard. And I pulled the Charizard VMAX out of Darkness Ablaze, so now I figured it was time to bust into the Shining Fates. For some reason, I really wanted the one from Darkness Ablaze first, and now that I got it, I'm feeling lucky. So, oh, sorry, let me scoop my chair in. So let's get into these shiny star V packs first. And honestly, this pack feels heavier. So I'm gonna open that one first. In Japanese packs, I'm pretty sure you could weigh packs out of a booster box, sell all the light ones, and everyone would just open trash, so. Man. All right, I already started tearing this one. The next pack we're using the scissors, I think. Just cause I wanna keep a pack art for this. <clears throat> There's the little code card for it. Oh, I don't know what the trick is for these ones, so we're just going to get right into it. We got Galarian, Mr. Mime. Yeah, I'm really hoping... Ooh, we got a sick Haunter. That one's cool. That's the same one that comes in Sword and Shield base set. Pretty sure. See? Hollow, Hollow, Krogunk. <gasps> nice. Dragapult VMAX. This one's actually pretty common with this set, but I really like Dragapult, so I'm stoked on that. And we actually have... Ooh, wow! Look at the hollow on that one. That's different. Yeah, Japanese packs are fun to open, I'll tell you what. And for once, I actually had my sleeves and everything out and ready to go. Man, I got a good feeling about this opening. Because I really wanted that Dragapult VMAX, even though it's already pretty common in Shiny Star V, like I said. But I still wanted it. Dragapult has become my new favorite in uh, Sword and Shield since I started playing it. Without a doubt. I have the Shiny Crobat box out, but not my Shiny Dragapult box that my friend got me for my birthday that I still haven't opened. I hope he doesn't think I'm doing that because I don't like it. I'm just don't didn't want to open it yet. Oh, there's my cat. There we go. Sorry. Shouldn't be wasting that much time putting something in a top loader. Alright, one shiny star packed down. On to the second one. And like I said, this one feels heavier. I want to get my scissors for this one though. I always try to keep at least one of the pack arts. Damn, I don't even know what the best way to cut this one would be. Ooh, probably like... Hopefully there. Nope, not low enough. I just don't want to cut off that shiny Charizard. Wow, we still didn't go low well enough. But 
There we go. We're like right there. Oh, out like a glove. I think I already see a VMAX. Oh, with the Japanese code card. Impidimp, Ghastly with Haunter. Can we get the Gengar from this set? The Gengar from this one's pretty cool. I actually already have a copy. Oh, a shiny. I already have the Gengar from this set, actually, the Japanese one. I bought it because I couldn't live without it. Hey, and another shiny full art. Well, first shiny full art, but another shiny in this pack. And, wow, a Corviknight reverse. That one's sweet. Cool. So, yeah, that is what I have for Shiny Star V. Man, I wish I had a booster box for those, but like I said, 10 packs. I don't know if I can drop that much money for 10 packs. Oh, and here comes my cat. Gosh dang it, one second. Sorry, my cat jumped on the table. Figured I'd handle that before it got out of control. Now he's gonna fix my microphone, there we go. All right, now that we got those, man, I'm stoked I got the Dragapult VMAX at least. That is the card I really wanted. I didn't even finish sleeving this card. This is what, the third video now my cat's tried to sabotage? All right, let's move those out of the way. Get into this Shining Fates Elite Trainer box. Like I said, this is the first time Getting into one of these. Oh, come on. Man, it's never easy getting these plastic wraps off. Especially when you're like trying not to completely mangle the box. There we go. Out of the wrapper. Like I said, I'm not opening up that second one behind here. We just got that as a nice backdrop. I'm stoked to get the sleeves out of here. Here's the cool little book. Got a G Max EV on the cover. I figure I'll just show a little bit of this for anyone who hasn't seen it. Explains the cards. <clears throat> Pretty sure, yeah, it shows the whole set also. This is a very good book to have for a collector. Honestly, it's worth buying at least a one Elite Trainer box for all the sets just to get this booklet. I just like having a book reference instead of, there's the Charizard, a book reference instead of having to look online. It's nice to just have something right there at your fingertips. Top of the box slides right off. And we got inside a little rule book for sword and shield. We got dice. They're kind of cool. They're always plastic. Well, not always. The premium boxes come with metal dice. We got some old poison tokens. This is seriously the first elite trainer box I've ever opened. And then, yep, all those just slide right out. Let's get our packs. What else we get in here? Oh yeah, there's a promo card. Probably beat to shit. Wow, I think it's actually in good condition. Well, EV VMAX promo card. Is it bent? Nope. Usually, I've seen a lot of videos where these are really bent up. But ours was not. And inside, we got some sleeves. I don't even think there's an EV VMAX in this set. I know of. And you get a stack of energy cards with every box. Let's just put this back on in there. If I can. 
There we go. We'll just place these energy cards back on in there. Get this box out of the way. Because we're here for the packs. It is a nice packaging though. Alright, sorry, just readjusting my camera. Alright, we got a shiny Corviknight, Toxtricity, Dragapult, Charizard, Corviknight, Toxtricity, Dragapult. Oh, looks like they just kind of repeat the pattern. So let's see. We're going to go Charizard, Corviknight, Toxtricity, Dragapult. Oh, here, I'll move it up so you guys can see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten packs. We'll just start with the Dragapult since we got all stoked on the Dragapult and the Shiny Star V pack. I honestly do not remember where I bought this Elite Trainer box because I just, ooh, white code card because I just have them all stacked together four in my cabinet and I will be giving away code cards in this video don't worry I'm not giving away all of them but I will give away some but yeah I don't know I bought one from Shields there's one I two I bought online actually months ago when we couldn't find them and then ooh it's the second shiny Dragapult card I've pulled and is a rude regular rare but yeah, when, before the big reprint, I was buying them online because I couldn't get them. Well, buying, yeah, the Elite Trainer boxes. The first two, I should say. And then these last two, one I got from Target, actually, online order. Shipped to my house when there was the Shining Fates reprint. Oh, another white code card. Here, let's give that one away. There you go, forever wants it. One, two, three, four to the front. And here we go, Psychic Energy. So this might be the one from Shields. Just because it's on the top, but I might be wrong. I might have pulled all of them out at one point. And last card, regular Rare and Mega. All right, let me just say that you are not guaranteed anything crazy just because you buy an Elite Trainer box. It's not like Japanese booster boxes where you're guaranteed like one at least like secret rare and all that. But you do get some cool sleeves and stuff and apparently a ton of white code cards. One, two, three, four to the front. All right, Dark Energy, Luxio, Gym Trainer, Thwacky. You know, I really hope that we can get that full art. Ooh, I see something shining back there. I hope we can get the full art Charizard. What's the last card? Oh, Gym Trainer, full art. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it. Toxtricity is also one of my newer favorites. I got one in a raid playing Pokemon Shield and not a shiny one. Another white code card. Do they just stack white code cards in these? Like, what's going on? One, two, three, four to the front. I'm pretty sure, this, like I said, if this is from Shields, this is from the reprint run. My other boxes should be, like, older, for sure, because that reprint happened, like, last month. It's May right now. Oh, Shiny Rowlet, and Rillaboom Regular Rare. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Toxtricity. Will it be another white code card, though? It really is interesting. We've gotten that many white code cards. 
Another white code card. You guys can have that one. One, two, three, four to the front. We got a water energy, Eldegoss, Cramorant, Ball Guy. And you know, the pull rates in Shining Fates aren't really the best. There's what? Oh, oh, what does that say? 72. Oh, Kyogre Amazing Rare. Look at that. Hey, whoever keeps asking if I want to buy this one. I don't. I found it. Wow, and that's not even the last card. This is crazy, you guys. Kyo oh man, we gotta put that somewhere safe. And the last card is a Crobat V. Very nice. Wow, I can't believe we got the Kyogre Amazing Rare. Sweet. Wow, that's a sweet card. That is a cool one. Oh, my bag of top loaders is buried underneath here. What is going on? There we go. Just need to have another one ready. Wow. Yeah, look at that card, Kyogre. I can get him in there. There we go. Nice. Very nice so far. We're just gonna stack those right there. And this, this only thing I uh, need to get down is a better system for organizing pulls. Especially for an elite trainer box. This is a lot of cards. Another white code card, guys. This is not a drill. Here, let me clean these up first. Wow, another white code card. One, two, three, four to the front. All right, let's see what we got going on in this one. Dartrix, Rotom, Rusted Sword, Horsey, Yanma. And then another more Pekka. That card's cool. I like the ones that have multiple Pokemon in them. Those ones are sweet. Coughing. Oh, ooh, shiny Rotom. And regular rare Celebi. Okay. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. We only have four packs left. Getting into the shiny Corviknights. Yeah, that's crazy. I'll be giving away another code card from this pack. Another white code card. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. One, two, three, four to the front. That we're not going to get that lucky with the Charizard packs, are we? If we've had this many white code cards. But like I said, there is no rhyme or reason to English Elite Trainer boxes. Floatzel, Shinx, Rowlet. So who knows? Maybe we'll have the fucking Charizard. There's another more Peko. Sorry, I'm trying to stop cussing in my videos. <gasps> another amazing rare, you guys. This is crazy. We got two amazing rares and one elite trainer box and boss's orders. That is also a good card to play with. Wow. I can't, wow, the texture on there is crazy. That's nuts. I don't know if I brought enough top loaders out. And I can't get this guy in. What the heck? Screw it. I'll worry about him later. Let's get through this. Boss's orders. Wow, I can't believe that. Two amazing rares in one elite trainer box, you guys. Oh man, can we get the shiny Charizard though? 
can we get the shine another white code card someone let me know in the comments if they only stack these with white code cards because this is nuts one two three four to the front we got thwacky floatzel i can't believe this this is blowing my mind I wish there was booster boxes for Shining Fates. I'm really into buying booster boxes currently. Horsey and... Ooh, a Morpeko V. I'm pretty sure I've pulled this card because it's in a couple sets. This isn't the only set this Morpeko is in. It is definitely in a few of them. Man, I almost wish I had saved my sleeves for uh, those guys, or used my new sleeves on some of those. That's okay though. Wow, we're down to the Charizard packs. Ugh, Charizard packs. Can we get the shiny Charizard? Been trying to make these videos as quick as possible recently. I feel like a lot of my older videos is kind of dragged on. Another white code card. This has been all white code cards in here. This is the last code card I'm giving away. So you can stop watching the video now if that's all you care about. One, two, three, four to the front. And we got Lightning Energy. Rusted Shield. Good luck for me. I've played Pokemon Shield, not Sword. My girlfriend plays Sword. Coughing, Trapinch, Rowlet, Shootle. Coughing, Reverse Hollow, and... Volcanion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can we get any last pack magic? Can we get the Charizard? I have a lot of Shining Fates to open. I don't just have those Elite Trainer boxes. I got like these Crobat, a Crobat V box, a Dragapult V box. I got some old tins. The last code card is a white, so. They must maybe just put all white code cards in or stacked packs in elite trainer boxes. I don't know. Someone tell me in the comments because I did not think it was like this. I've seen a lot of videos of people open elite trainer boxes, so I must have just been lucky. Coughing. Last pack. Come on. Grookey and Dreadnought Regular Rare. Still, though, those were uh, some pretty decent pulls, you guys. We got those amazing rares. All right, let's see. We got more Petco. We got that amazing rare, which I'm not even going to try and butcher the name. I want to put that somewhere safer. <laughs> Rotom, Celebi, Shiny Dragapult. Kyogre, Amazing Rare, Crobat V, Gym Trainer, and then from the Japanese packs, we got, what is that, Eldegoss maybe? I don't know, I'm probably wrong. And then Dragapult V Max. So, pretty good pulls. I'm actually just really stoked I got two of those Amazing Rares. Now all we need is the Reshiram and... I think that's all the amazing rares in this set. I might be wrong. But yeah. I mean, man, some of these aren't even sleeved. What am I doing? Well, that's all I got for the video today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be opening up some more stuff soon. I just wanted to get into these because I've been holding on to them for so long. And Needed to take a break from chilling rain for a little bit before I open more. But, uh, we got extremely lucky with our Elite Trainer Box. I can't wait to open more. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.